Swiss kiss. Hey YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, I am Jasmine Marie and thank you all so much for clicking on this video. How are y'all doing today? It's Monday, it's the start of the week. It's a new beginning to get your things done, all right? In today's video, I have some fun things planned for us. First, I'm going to actually show you how to put on this headband wig. And if you watched my video Friday, then you already know all the details on this unit, all right? And then after that, I'm going to actually show you what's underneath my wig, okay? Wigs are the goat, sis, if you didn't know. So if you want to see all the details, then just go ahead and keep watching. But before we jump into this video, Hey, 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 y'all already know what I'm getting ready to say. Make sure you pause this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And then at the end of the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment, all right? All right, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you all how to put on the half wig with a headband. So in my video on Friday, I showed you all the wig that I wear every day which is this one, it's by the Janet Collection. It's the new Easy Quick Wig um, in the style Agatha, and this is the color number two. So here's one already in the package, and I'm gonna take it out. And forgive me, y'all, because when I did the video, I had my kids here, and I was rushing. Then I went back to edit the video and then I realized I didn't even show y'all how to put the wig on. So that's my fault y'all and I really apologize about that. So um, I'm gonna show you all how to put the wig on now, all right? So I'm trying to get this wig out the box, honey. It's Agatha. Let me show y'all what Agatha looks like straight out the box, y'all. And this is synthetic for all those who sleep on synthetic, honey. All those who say, I can't wear synthetic. Let me show y'all synthetic. All right. So this is Miss Agatha, honey. Straight out the box. Get into it. Get into it. Sis. This wig right here. Y'all gonna see why it's my favorite. So let me go ahead and put it on. So this is the half wig. You got clips at the top. And then a clip at the back. So you got two. You got two clips. One at the top and one at the bottom. Which is nice for securement. And then you have these little bands that you can pull to kind of tighten if it's too loose. On the end. See that? Alright. So... Let me get this tag off. All right, so I got my headband. I got this headband from um, Burlington. I recently just got it from Burlington, yeah. So I got my headband and I have my wig cap on. I slicked my edges down with Shine and Jam. Um, and I use the green one, which has the olive oil. You can get this anywhere, but I get it from my local beauty supply. You can really find this just about any beauty supply with it's Shine and Jam. So I use this to slip down my edges. If you want, you can give yourself some baby hairs, do whatever you need to do. But I just slip my edges back and then throw my wig cap on, okay? So here's the half wig. I put it on like this. Throw the hair to the back and slide it back just like that. Boom! Y'all, that took 60 seconds. Not even that. That's how easy it is to wear a half wig or a headband wig. You know what I'm saying? You got me, sis. So that's how easy it is to wear these. So this is what Agatha looks like straight out the box. This is what Agatha looks like. And I love it. Isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful. In Friday's video, I showed you all what Agatha looks like after some wear. So 
like I said in that video, I had been wearing that um, unit since the first of the new year and you saw how it was still flowing, all right? And it's synthetic, so it's worth the buy. So y'all see this wig is super cute. So this is my headband wig, y'all. And again, I super duper apologize for not showing you all how to put it on in my last video, but I'm showing you now, all right? So this is how you wear it. And just get you a cute headband. And rock it, girl. So yeah, that's how you gotta do. But again, I apologize for not showing you all in my previous video. I was just so excited to show you all. I forgot to show you how to actually put it on. <laughs> but yeah, so this is it. So this is Miss Agatha. I just love this wig, y'all. Yeah. I said that in the last video, but I'm for real. Like this wig is it. This is my everyday wig. Now I'm gonna show you what's under my wig. And let me just be the first to say it. If ain't no one else told you, I told you. Wigs are the GOAT. Some of y'all like, what is the GOAT? Greatest of all time. Wigs are the GOAT. Greatest of all time. Because wigs have been like my go-to. They save me time, stress, when I don't have time to do my own hair but they are a great protective style. Now, when I want to give my natural hair a break, I throw on a wig. But I've gotten kind of lazy. I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten kind of lazy because I just, this has just been easy for me. My life has drastically changed within the last year because I went from two children to now four. So my time is precious and wearing this half wig has just been easy for me so I have gotten a little lazy but I do need to get back to taking care of my natural hair as I should but since I've been wearing wigs they have been a great protective style all right so let me take this back off and show you all what's underneath my wig and that's how I just take it off and then kind of shake it and hang it up let me take my wig cap off are y'all ready Boom. This is how I braid my hair and keep it up underneath my wigs, all right? The secret is out, y'all. This is how I look underneath my wigs. <laughs> Let me clip this, though. Do you see this? If you've watched any of my previous natural hair videos um, and you saw that I did my big chop a couple years ago, to go from that to this, sis, wigs are the goat. Do you hear me? You can't go wrong with a wig. It just gives your natural hair time to relax and grow. So I'm gonna unbraid this and show you all how long my hair has like gotten. I know I need my ends trim, y'all, so don't, don't say nothing. I know I need to get my ends trim. I need a good wash and deep condition. I already know, but I'm just trying to show you all with me wearing wigs, what it has done for my natural hair. Do y'all see that? It comes down to about right here. Do y'all see that? down the back Let's show y'all what we got going on here I just I'm so proud of how my hair is done with the lack of treatment that I've been giving it and it still tends to grow with what I ain't been doing so just imagine if I was taking care of my hair like I should then how long it would be 
But this year I do plan to take better care of my natural hair. So there's the back. Again, we're gonna comb it. Start at the end and work our way up. You see that? Wow. That goes pretty far. Say it with me, y'all. Wigs are the goat. <laughs> you see all that hair? So that's two braids. I got three others. That's two braids. I got three others. Do you see how much hair that is? From two braids. Just imagine if I was like to wash this and straighten it, how pretty it would be. I don't typically put heat on my hair. Actually, I don't put heat on my hair, so I'm not even sure it was straightened, but that's two braids. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna take the other three braids down and show you all what your sis is working with. All right, all right, be right back. Okay y'all, I'm back and I combed out the rest of my hair. And do you see this? Okay. This is what wearing wigs over and over and over have done for me. Mind you, I did like a semi big chop a couple years ago. So after just a couple of years, this is, this is where we are. I love it. I cannot wait to do a wash and go. I cannot wait, but my hair has really grown and I'm just really proud of it. So the moral of the story is when you don't have the time or you know you need to give your hair a break, try a wig a half wig, whatever is easiest for you. Because for me, they have been the best protective style. And um, even after having my children, they've been the best protective style against postpartum shedding, because I have experienced that, which is why I'm a little thin around my edges now. Um, but wearing a wig has just been convenient. It has saved me time and this wig in particular has saved me money because it's only $15 and it has saved my natural hair. So yeah, all right. Okay. I should just wear my hair like this, right? Go to work like this. This is cute. I should just go wash this and do a quick little wash and go. So when my husband come home, honey, he can see me. All right, y'all. So this is what's under my wig. And I just wanted to show you all today and just kind of share that little tip with you all because, you know, you never know who it may help. So wigs, they're the goat, honey. They're the best protective style for you. It'll save you time, money, and all that stress. You know, so just get you a wig, all right? Get you a wig, sis. This is what it can do for you. All right, y'all, so that's the end of this video. I really appreciate you all for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And go ahead and like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment, all right? Let me know if you wear wigs already. Um, have you experienced a lot of hair growth since wearing wigs? You know, tell me your thoughts in the comment box below. I'd love to hear them and chat with you all. And I will see you all Wednesday, all right? All right, peace.